Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to do a little video just talking about um, a couple things, really. So, I decided to sell my PSP and my Vita collection. Um, one of the main reasons that I'm selling my Vita collection, or have sold it, I'm just waiting on the payment at this point, is that I think the Vita is an awesome handheld. I would like to clarify that. I think it's a great handheld. I think it's pretty damn powerful. I think uh, it's got a great screen. It's got a lot of great games. Uh, I've pretty much played the ones I wanted to play at this point, and I've purchased some I really didn't love that I just wanted to mess around with that I didn't really get too into. At this point, I'm kind of disappointed in how they've been treating it. Um, I don't like how they've really stuck to more of like a an indie thing. It seems like a lot of these indie games are getting bigger, more of the casual type stuff, and that's fine, but it's not really my thing, and I really wanted more of like an open type thing, an open type game. Um, I guess the best I would say is I wanted Fantasy Star. I bought the Vita specifically for Fantasy Star, and they promised for the past few years that Fantasy Star was going to come out, and I wanted like a Fantasy Star Online or a Fantasy Star Universe Something where I can meet up with friends and do these big quests. And I've, you know, we've gotten similar things, like um, Ragnarok is probably, you know, pretty similar. Uh, Soul Sacrifices doesn't have that hub system, really. Um, I just wanted, like, kind of a, an online RPG or an online game to play with friends. Silent Hill um, Book of Memory was pretty good, even though it was kind of like a Diablo-type game and they really strayed from the normal formula. But, and Persona was excellent. That was amazing. But overall, I felt like it just didn't hold me anymore, you know? Let me sit up a little further. It didn't, it didn't, it was getting that fat neck chin from sitting down so far. It didn't hold me, you know, anymore. And a lot of the games, you know, they were pushing were like indie kind of stuff. And yeah, you might say it's kind of hypocritical because I just did that game stick video. But that's just something I'm going to bring around here and there, mess around with and tinker with. The Vita is so expensive that I didn't see the justification in keeping it, you know? Um, as for the PSP stuff, I haven't played the PSP stuff in a long time. I went back recently and played uh, Traveler, what was that? Brave New Story, whatever, Traveler something or other. And it was okay. Uh, a little more kitty than I expected, but, you know, it, it was getting interesting. I had a lot of great games on the PSP. That I already sold, and my whole set. But I had realized something. And, um... What that something is, and this is pretty personal, I would say, and this is not a knock to anyone in the gaming community or people who buy or collect. I mean, I still have my Sega CD collection. I still have my 3DO. I have a Dreamcast, four Dreamcasts, and a huge collection. A Saturn with a nice collection, a Genesis, you know, everything. Xbox One, Xbox 360, Neo Geo Pocket Color, fucking Neo Geo X, and a Wonderswan Color. So, I mean, I have a lot of stuff. But I realized that I was making up for things in my life by filling gaps with purchasing stuff. And now a lot of people do this. A lot of people try to, you know, recreate or get some semblance of their childhood that they missed. Maybe they were a kid and they didn't have money or their parents couldn't afford things. So they ended up not getting things they wanted or they saw things and, you know, had allowance. And they only get one instead of both, whatever the case may be. So with me... Now that I'm an adult, you know, 31 years old, I had realized that there was a lot of things in my life that were not full. And those things I was making up for by purchasing video games. You know, I was buying PSP games that I still have not ever played, just to have them. Um, I was taking the, the aspect of needing emotionally, mentally, mental stimulation and applying it to having this physical object that I purchased to feel some momentary relief of like, oh, that feels good, I got something for myself, right? I attained something. I realized, and I still definitely realize, buying something is never going to replace needing what you need in life, being happy. And that's the reason I sold my stuff. I am extremely happy. Um, my life is going well. Yeah, there's always, you know, things going on, people sick, um, things you have to worry about, bills, money, 
whatever the case may be, there's always going to be negativity or something, you know, bad happening in, in, in a sense. But I'm very happy. I've got a lot of great stuff going on, a lot of big changes that happened in the past six months. Um, I feel like I got a new lease on life. I feel that I'm a stronger person, I'm a better person. And so to turn around and see this huge amount of PSP stuff and Vita stuff not so much, but I just wasn't really feeling it anymore. And go, what am I doing with all this? What am I, you know, getting out of it? Nothing, it's just sitting here. So I just wanted to touch base, talk about that, give a little, uh, you know, wax poetic a little bit about my feelings and, and, and why I sold some of my games, which some people might be considered like, oh man, he's selling stuff, that's horrible. I'm not selling anything else, just the Vita and the PSP, at least currently. But um, that's about it. So, thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.